Hi, my name is Tessa Cregan, and for my second project, I have motion analysis on pitching. My athlete for this project is a varsity baseball player who has been playing baseball since he was 10 years old, and his main positions are pitching and outfield. There are many different types of pitching, with the main being breaking balls, fastballs, and change-ups. But within these categories, there are around 14 specific ones that vary between each player. The pitching style we chose to focus on were fastballs, since it's the easiest to learn and it's the one we wanted to do so we could focus on increasing speed. The improvements that I noticed that we needed to make and that would improve his speed were strengthening the muscles that are used for pitching and then improving his form by watching professional baseball players and analyzing their videos compared to a video of him pitching. Here are his first results. As you can see, he is pitching. And then here is him compared to a professional baseball player. For this, we did four different drills. The first one is a figure eight drill where he made a figure eight before he pitched. The second one is a drill where he would focus only having pressure on his back foot before he started to get a feel for how the change in motion and the change in weight would be while he's pitching. The third drill we did was him only focusing on his upper body and keeping his feet straight facing towards his goal, his where he's going. And then for the fourth drill, we did one where he was rocking back and forth. This one was also to get him used to doing a weight shift. Um, for the muscles that you use to pitch, the main ones are your lats, your sits muscles, mainly your subscapularis, because it's the muscle you use to internally rotate, and then your biceps you also use a little bit. So we wanted to focus on your lats and your sit muscles and your biceps. So for the lats, the exercises we did were dumbbell rows, deadlifts, and inverted rows. For your subscapularis, we did mainly workouts like this because we didn't have access to bands. These ones focus on your sits muscles. All of these are in these positions moving up. And then for biceps, we did push-ups. And then we did hammer curls and dumbbell curls because those are the main exercises that work your biceps and we only did two because biceps were the least important for pitching compared to your lats and your subscapularis muscle and here is the end result and compared to a professional baseball player again as you can see here he rotates quicker and also keeps his shoulders in more as does the professional baseball player he also does it as much more of a fluid motion than compared to when he first started. For speed, we used a radar gun that was made for baseballs. We warmed up first, both times with a football because it's heavier. And this is something that professional baseball players also do is throw a football to warm up. Um, we did 15 pitches that we were recorded to use for the average, but before that, he went through about 50 balls to warm up. The first day, his average speed was 70 miles an hour, with his fastest being 78. And then his last day, the average was 76, with his fastest being 81. He increased by 8%, and his fastest ball increased by 4%. This doesn't seem like very much, 
But with his season being three to four months out, if he kept doing this, he would improve significantly and probably consistently be able to throw in the 85 range. Thank you. Any questions?